Hi y'all, thank you so much for coming to, uh, to back to my channel. This is Nelly, and for those that are new, welcome. So I, I know that we are not through with the month of June, but I thought I'd go ahead and just film this anyway because I'm excited to show y'all my favorites for the month of June. And a couple that I put, um, that I've been using since May, but I brought it here. So um, let's go ahead and just get started. I wanted to follow up with the perfumes that I selected to use for the month of June. And I gotta say, I'm so happy that I re-engaged all of these products. So I'm gonna start off with the Live Fearlessly by Mary Kay. This is such a beautiful perfume. It really stands out. It's, it's like an oriental fresh perfume and it smells really pretty. And it smells a lot like amber but with like aquatic notes. And I really loved it and I really enjoyed using this perfume for this month. And I might carry it with next month. Who knows? I'm just trying to use up the products that I have at my house. Okay. Uh, the next one will be another perfume and one that I selected to use for this month as well. This is Today by Avon. And this is just a really beautiful perfume. Um, it's actually lasted a long time in the Avon catalog and for a good reason. The heart of this note is, I believe it's butterfly flower, but it smells so beautiful and nice. And it's a very potent perfume. And I believe it has like some kind of oils in it. I guess that's why it lasts a very long time. So today is a really beautiful fragrance and it's a really nice wedding fragrance as well has that like hearty and very heavy floral scent and for skincare I think my favorite of, of the month of um, June will be this product oh and I apologize in advance for the background I've been trying to clean up my room and I'm like no I'm gonna clean my room first and then do filming but I'm like I'm, I'm always gonna have an excuse not to film so I apologize for the chaotic background but let's go ahead and begin uh, this is from pixie and this is their micellar water. Actually, it's called Vitamin C Juice Cleanser. And this is such a gorgeous... It's, I use it as a toner sometimes as well because it's very moisturizing. It's very soothing to the face. It calms down my redness sometimes. And sometimes it's even good enough on my good skin days where I can just use this and then put on foundation because it's just a really beautiful um, moisturizing as well as potent little cleanser here and it even brightens up my face a little bit sometimes so this is a really beautiful product for the face before you put on your moisturizer and everything but it also cleans um, makeup and stuff and it's just incredible and as y'all can see I'm already out and I'm probably going to get me a new one but this was my favorite for the month of June and let's go ahead and continue with skincare this is from De La Cruz Vitamin E Oil. I've been using this since I was in high school. And it's just a really pretty oil to have at the house. You could put it on your cuticles. You can use it on your face. And I'm just about done with this one as well. But it was a really good oil. I love that. Okay, so I have only one concealer. And this is from Huda Beauty. And this, I think it's, yeah, the Overachiever Concealer, which looks like that. And this is in the shade Maringue, and I love this concealer because it's, uh, sorry guys, if I'm a little off, it's because I'm just starting to get back into the routine of filming, and um, I, I'm trying to play with different softwares, actually, so please bear with me while I'm trying to do this transition. <laughs> Thank you so much. But um, let's go back to the concealer. So I love it because it's very heavy coverage, but it's a little bit moisturizing at the same time. It doesn't crease that much if you put a little bit of powder and a little bit goes a long way. So this was my favorite concealer for the month of June. And I have some foundations. We're going to start with the Matte Fit Me by Maybelline. And this is just a classic product. I have been buying several of these for years and years and it's really a great foundation from the drugstore if you're looking for one I have very dry acne prone skin so even though I have that you know texture I love having a matte finish and sometimes it's hard to get that kind of matte finish without looking very cakey and bad 
but this foundation really helps a lot and it's very beautiful and it has clay in it so it, it lasts a long time and it has really nice coverage and they have a lot of good shade ranges for this foundation uh, for the summer I'm in classic ivory and so this is a product that I'm always going to keep buying and I'm out but I do have a lot of other foundations that I need to go through so uh, until then I'm use what I have but this one was incredible I've been using it since May and it's already out I guess I should have mention this one because it's with Huda and this is their Huda Beauty I think it's the filter foundation faux filter high coverage cream foundation so um, as the name suggests it is a cream foundation and it has a pump and this is very very high coverage y'all and I love it because it's high coverage I love high coverage I don't like my redness to stand out a lot and this product is just gorgeous it really look, look it's like a faux filter it just looks so perfect and doll like whenever you use this product and because i do have dry skin um the vitamin e oil actually helps okay um but this is just a really nice foundation for those that love a really big like solid matte foundation finish and i'm in the shame creme brulee and I think my last foundation is going to, I think this is discontinued, but this is it. This is the Jofra Royal Jelly Foundation, and it's really nice. It has serum in it, so you could tell that this foundation is mainly meant for mature skin, but I like it. It's the one I'm wearing right now, and it gives a really nice, like, glowy light to the skin, as y'all can see. I am... I really like it. It's medium coverage, but if you build it up and maybe put a little bit of powder, it can be full coverage. And this is in Fair L2. It is discontinued, but again, I'm trying to use up all of my products, guys. I'm really happy that I'm doing that because I'm rediscovering a lot of different products. And from the way things are going, it's best to just use what you have. Don't get me wrong. I'm a girl that loves hauling and buying new things I love makeup but I have so much and I've thrown away so much that it's like you're technically you're tearing up dollar bills when you throw these products because they're expired or because they're not good you know so you know with that being said like whenever I'm doing a lot of videos I'm probably gonna mention a couple of discontinued things because I'm, I'm trying to use them up you know <laughs> but um anyway this is uh, the Jaffa Royal Jelly Foundation, and I really love it. And I have a product from Wet n Wild, and this is the Cucumber um, Primer Water, and it's really good. If you want an alternative to the Smashbox Water, this is very similar to it, and like less than half the price, and it's a really cute little bottle. I don't have that much left, <laughs> but I'm, again... Use what you got. This is a really nice product. It helps with your foundation. It makes it last longer. It gives just a little bit of moisturizer too. And it does smell a little bit like coconut. And the lippy that I have, I love it so much because it's so summery. It's bold. I love a good bold lip and especially an orange bold lip. So this is from Lime Crime and this is in the shade Psycho. And again, it's the one that I'm wearing right now. And it's super matte. It lasts a very long time. But it feels like you're not wearing anything at all. It's very comfortable. Super pigmented. And I got it at TJ Maxx. Probably in um, maybe December or January. But um, I, and I don't know if it's discontinued. I assume it is if it's in TJ. But there was um, a liquid lipstick similar to this color from Too Faced. I think it's like the gingerbread one it was a really gorgeous pumpkin spice color and then they came out with a gingerbread spice one and they they were always sold out everybody wanted it and i wanted that color so bad so when i found this one at tj maxx i'm like it looked very similar and it kind of looks similar you know so this was my favorite lippy for the month of june oh i forgot to show y'all another spritz that i picked out from my last video if y'all seen it, my uh, uh, perfume picks for, for June. 
And so I transferred it here to my favorites for June because I rediscovered these products and I love them. And this is the body mist that I chose and I love it. It's the Golden Pineapple Luau by Bath & Body Works. And you can't tell if I used it a lot, but I did. And it smells so beautiful and just fruity and girly and splashy. And it smells even better whenever you, you just came out of the shower and you spritz this on. It's just a really nice scent. It's very sweet and I love that. Um, if anyone that doesn't like that, you might not like this one. But I don't even think you could get it. So that's Golden Pineapple Luau. And the palette that I've been using a lot is this one from Morphe. And this is the Jewel Crew, the Nine Pan palette. And it looks like this. And it's the one that I'm wearing up with um, my eyeshadow today. I have a little bit of this purple rich girl right there in the lid. And I buffed it out with Stone Fox, which is this orange shade right here. And then I put a little bit of this shimmery lilac color right there in the center of my eyes. And this is a really nice palette to grab for every day. It has a really beautiful um, earthy everyday colors, but also you can darken it up a little bit with those jewel colors right there. It's a really nice palette. And a good old MAC product is MAC blushes. And this happens to be in Modern Mandarin. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now and this is such a pigmented product and I really should toss this away because I think this is my first MAC product that I ever bought from the MAC store so it's so special and I just can't throw it away <laughs> and I'm trying to use it up y'all but um such a gorgeous shade and last product that I have is an oldie but a goodie from Becca and this is the shimmering skin pressed ah if I could open it it's the highlighter in the shade opal you know a cult classic this which I'm also wearing on the top of my cheek there just look at that glow so pretty and I'm just I'm just loving it y'all well thank you so much for watching this channel and for watching this video I know y'all could have watched any other video but y'all chose this one Thank you so much. Oh, and I'm sorry for my ratchet nails, y'all. I'm trying to pick out a nail polish, and I'm just, I have so many good ones, I don't know what to pick. Let me know what y'all, what I should chose in the comments down below, and please tell me some of y'all favorites for the month of June. I love you guys. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.